Hi. So today we're reading from The Little Brown Bear. And the title of this chapter is Little Brown Bear Falls Asleep. <clears throat> little Brown Bear was a good little bear, but he was always hungry for something to eat. Sometimes he was hungry for pancakes and honey. Sometimes he was hung hungry for bread and maple sugar. Sometimes he was hungry for red currant buns. But he was hungry for black. He was, but always he was hungry for ba blackberry pie. Blackberry pie. For all the good things in the world to eat, Little Brown Bear liked blackberry pie the best. One sunny morning, Mother Brown Bear handed him his shiny tin pail. Then she said, run up the hill and get some blackberries, Little Brown Bear, and we'll have blackberry pie for supper. So Little Brown Bear put on his new straw hat and hurried off up the hill, swinging his shiny pail. He sang very gladly, up the hill, turn to the right, and we'll have blackberry pie tonight. When Little Brown Bear got to the blackberry thicket, he found the berries were so big and juicy that in just no time, he had filled his pail. Then he started for home. But the sun was very warm, so Little Brown Bear sat down under a cotton tree to rest. I'll stay here only a second, he said to himself, taking off his new straw hat and putting it over the pail to keep the flies away from the berries. A little bird was sitting, was singing on a branch right over his head, and before you could say Jack Robinson, Little Brown Bear was fast asleep. He slept and slept and slept. By and by, a big blue bottle came buzzing around, came buzzing around his ears. Buzz, 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 said Mr. Blue Bottle. That awakened Little Brown Bear. He rubbed his eyes and yawned. Then he restored to pick up his new straw hat and his sh shiny little tin pail, but his pail was gone. Oh dear, thought Little Brown Bear, where can my pail of blackberries be? The Little Brown Bird was singing, so Little Brown Bear called out to him, have you seen anyone passing by? Take the berries I picked for a pie. But the little bird only shook his head and kept right on singing. A squirrel ran out of a bush. Ran out of, the, of a bush. Little brown bear called to him. Have you seen anyone steal away the pail of berries I picked today? But the squirrel only shook his head and ran on. Not far away, a white rabbit sat eating dock leaves. The little brown bear called out to him, Do you see anyone come around and take the berries that I found? But the white rabbit only shook his head and went on eating dock leaves. Oh dear, oh dear, said the little brown bear to himself. The sun is getting low. It'll soon be dark. I'd better be get going home. So he put on his new straw hat and started down the hill. He sang in a very sad voice, down the hill, turn to the right, we'll have no blackberry pie tonight. When Little Brown Bear reached home, Mother Bear met him at the door. Hurry up, Little Brown Bear, or you'll be late for your supper. Little Brown Bear, Little Brown Bear hurried into the house and there on a hook in the kitchen, shot hung his shiny little tin pail, and there in the center of the table was a great big blackberry pie. Little Brown Bear looked and looked and looked at the blackberry pie, then he wondered and wondered how his pail of blackberries ever got home without him. Little Brown Bear never did find out for sure, but whenever he said anything about blackberries, there was always a funny little twinkle in Father Bear's brown eyes. So what do you think happened? I think Father Bear found him asleep and brought the pails home so that his mom could make the blackberry pie. That's what I think happened. The end.